Hi, this is Leah from Open Intro. In this video, you'll see how to use normal approximation to find a percent given an x value and to find an x value given a percent. We will review the use of norm CDF and inverse norm on the TI calculator. The average daily high temperature in June in LA is 77 degrees Fahrenheit with a standard deviation of 5%. Suppose that the temperatures in June closely follow a normal distribution. Part A, what is the probability of observing an 83 degree Fahrenheit temperature or higher in LA during a randomly chosen day in June? And Part B, how cool are the coldest 10% of the days during June in LA? The first thing to note is that we're going to be using normal approximation, and we're allowed to do that because in the problem it says that the temperatures follow a normal distribution. This is important to verify uh, because you can't use normal approximation on a distribution that's, say, right-skewed or left-skewed. Now, for part A and B, we have two different questions. Part A gives us um, a temperature and wants to know a probability. Part B gives us a percentile and wants to know a temperature. So our process for part A is going to be to first find a z-score then use norm CDF or other technology to find the area under the normal curve of interest. Our approach for part B is going to be kind of the inverse. We're going to first use inverse norm to find a z-score, then work backwards to find the x value. So let's take part A first. We observe the temperature is normal, and now let's find the z-score. So we know z equals the average, sorry, equals x minus the average over the SD. So in this case, z equals 83, which is the value of interest here, minus the average is given as 77 divided by the SD of 5. That is 1.2. And because it's normal, we can find the area under the normal curve to the right of z is 1.2 because we want this temperature or higher. So we know we're going to be going to the right. So here we'll use the TI and in order to find that area we're going to go to second distribution or second VARS and choose number two which is norm CDF. Our lower or left bound is 1.2 and our upper bound is some very big number say six and this is going to give us an area of 0.115. So, about 11.5% probability of observing a temperature of 83 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. Okay, part B. Uh, again, observing that the distribution is normal, so we're allowed to use uh, this normal distribution. Use inverse norm to find the z-score. So, we're interested in the coldest 10% of the days, and we want to know what is the z-score such that 10% of the area is to the left of that z-score. And so we'll go back to our calculator, and this time we'll go to second VARS, or second distribution, and we'll choose number three, which is inverse norm. Here we must enter the percentile as a decimal. So instead of entering 10, we'll enter 0.1. And this will give us the z-score. We're expecting it to be negative. We're going to get negative 1.28. So negative 1.28 here. And now, again, using our z equals x minus av over sd, we plug in the z that we know, as well as the av and the sd. And now, just x is unknown. So now we can solve for the x value. And in this case, x is 70.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So 70.6 degrees Fahrenheit or colder corresponds to how cool the coldest 10% of the days are. That's it for this video. For more free resources, check us out at openintro.org.